I said to my fellow Salotas, it is I, Chaos, and welcome back to Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. We are about to finish off the rest of 10pm, I believe it's 10pm. Uh, yeah, 10pm, okay. So, last episode we beat the pineapple and the monument pretty well. Now we've got Patrick's Rock and 3451 Anchor Way. I don't understand why it's not called Krabs' Anchor. Maybe because he's not the only one who inhabits it, but regardless, we're going to start Patrick's Rock. We're going to play it, and uh, hopefully ace it. Because I actually forgot the Goofy Goober token last time I played it. I had an idea where it was, it's just where specifically in the map I had to look for the token. But now we can correct ourselves, which is awesome. Uh, anyway, so we've seen this bit before, yada yada yada. Shortly after, Padgett climbs into his rock to seek out his beloved toys. It doesn't take long before he forgets what he was doing, deciding to let his imagination run wild within the confines of his box. So obviously for anyone who saw the demo or even played it, this was where the whole game ended after that demo. You got to play the first bit of it, and then you got teased for the following part, and that was it. You got a jump scare, I think, actually, for your troubles, because of course, <laughs> these big old fuck you. <laughs> it's a very friendly one, I promise you. Um, and then obviously, oh after that, um, you just got jump scared and the demo ended, and that was it. But now you actually get to continue on and play the rest of it. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. I feel like I had some other stuff to say. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I know, like, the, the thing is about me is I, I try to set myself up for things I'm going to say and, like, introduce in the videos. But I've literally forgotten what I was going to say. Uh, I was considering doing a double upload today, so if you're lucky enough, there's going to be this episode where we play Anchor Way and Patrick's Rock. And then next episode where we play, um, hopefully Bargain Mart and Tentacle Wakers if we can fit those in. So, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, don't think I'm forgetting anything here. We're going to jump right into the box. Again, it's so awkward when I've played these levels. Because I beta tested them. And I obviously did my whole playthrough as well. So, it's just... It's such an awkward thing to do. However, Ooh. I do think this one's... I, I do think this level's made a bit easier since the last version I played. Um, and we'll get into those when we get there. But, oh, where is it? Maybe if I could just reach down a bit more. Oh, no. It's a really deep box. Well, I guess it's supposed to be... It's the imagination box from... I think the episode was called Idiot Box, where they're inside there using their imagination to make all those weird noises and stuff. You know the one. Um, so I guess this is basically just taking it to a very literal sense, which I think is really cool. I think this is like a, a really interesting way to make a level. Like, take the imagination concept, but actually make it its own level to play. I just think it's really good. It's a, a very smart idea. Anyway, there's a the spatula. So the token is actually not too far from here. I think it's over in this direction in one of the rubbish bins. If I'm lucky. <laughs> okay, so the big difference with, regarding this version and the one I played. Um, this version doesn't have prowlers running about. The only threat you got to worry about is the main bad guy, and that's Prowler Patrick. First, they're just going to kick this so I can... <laughs> Get Barry out of his goddamn oh, trash can. All right, Barry. Oh, God, Barry! Quickly! Oh, my bad, I'm dead. Oh. Woo! Up. Uh, Dave, I think I found a bug. I say a bug. I found an exploit. You can hide in this corner, and apparently he doesn't actually see you. Is he still, like, outside, though? He's still outside. Okay, if I wait here long enough, though, he might walk away. And then I can run. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Well, this might need to be re reported. Because I'm not really supposed to do that. I was absolutely supposed to die then, but oh, well. We continue on. We live and we prosper. Just so I can break the games even more. <laughs> But yeah, as I was saying, uh, there were actually like some, a bunch of prowlers running about in this stage beforehand. I think there was like two of them. And it made navigating it a little bit more annoying. Especially if you were looking for like the collectibles and stuff. Because like getting the token for Barry was even harder when... Oh! Wrong way! Oh god, there's no corner to save me this time. I think it might be this way. Uh, or I'm going in a bloody circle. Oh, wrong way. Oh god, he's approaching. Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> oh lord, he coming. Uh, but yeah, the Prowler's gone now, so the only thing you got to worry about is Prowler Patrick, which is what he's called. 
Uh, very, very terrifying design, by the way. Which, by terrifying, I obviously mean really, 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 really cool. Just, uh, just to specify. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. oh god, why am I looking at the floor? My well, action fingers are close now. I could feel it. <laughs> if only I had a sign pointing me in the right direction. Okay. So, my no death bonus is still on the table here. I just gotta get through this part. And a bit afterwards. We should be good. I wonder if I've... I'm trying to remember if I actually found my Easter egg in the previous playthrough. Because, yeah, just as a little bit of a spoiler. Um, as is probably no surprise, I did a bunch of voice acting for this game. And there's actually an Easter egg in here that I voice acted. Um, the, an Easter egg so damn secret, by the way. A, a, an Easter egg so damn secret that Dave and Padre even forgot to credit me in the credits for it because it was that secret. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I found it humorous. I think a lot of people would be like, I think some people would be a little bit hurt that they weren't credited for the work they did, but I just find it funny. I think it just means that what I did was very, very effective and did what it was supposed to do. But obviously, you know, I know these guys. I'm not going to make a hissy fit about it. Oh, fish please, I've got to get out of here. I will be honest, though, this level is generally kind of terrifying. Again, I remember in the original builds, especially when I wasn't, um... Well, I, you know, a time when I was actually blind to this game and didn't know what was going to come up yet. First time I played this, I was terrified. Utterly terrified. But obviously now I kind of know what I'm, I'm against here. And even then, it still is unsettling. Having a bunch of these screaming Patricks running at you is not a sign I like. Especially when they make all these noises and you don't know what the hell they are. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. He's right on my tail. Okay, we're good. Right. Still doing well so far. I just gotta get a bit further, and we might be able to waste this damn thing. If I... If just, as long as I can stop staring at the goddamn wall. Alright. But yeah, I, I really like the setting of this level. Just, the, again, the whole concept of the, the imagination box put into a level, I think it's a really good idea. Especially on the idea of Patrick's spheres and stuff, too. Like, it has a prowler. So yeah, this is what you had to deal with on that initial section, and he had like two of them. While you were also dodging, um, what's he called? Uh, no! Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, bugger, I can't skip out. I think Dave may patch that in actually to not let you do that. Um, initially, you could actually escape before you die, technically. And it would uh, basically let you reload the checkpoint without registering the death, so it was a way to cheat out the, um, Ace Perfections. But I'm assuming he's blocked that because, uh, it was brought to the attention you could do that. And I know for a fact Jace Kabeen got a lot out of that from his, uh, play for- Oh, it's two of them! Christ. I was, oh, that was a bit too close. Okay. I don't worry anymore, we're not gonna get the, uh, the Ace Perfection on this one. That will be for another time. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, those <laughs> that timing's a little bit quicker than I was expecting. Alright. Let's try it again. Oh, is that Robo Patrick? Like in that um that one part in the episode? It might have been. I actually remember having um oh what were they called? I think it was like Learn Frog or something, Leap Frog. It was these like interactive books. They were like electronic books that you use a stylus for. And you would press buttons on the screen and also on the side, corresponding to what page you were on. And they would like play sound bites and they'd have these games that play and stuff. Oh god, that was like such a time. But I actually remember there was a graphic of um, what that robots versus pirates war they had actually looked like. And it definitely didn't look like that. That's, <laughs> I will say that, it definitely did not look like that. But again, I mean, you don't have to be completely accurate this, right? Maybe canonically. Oh, that's a prowler. That's a well, that's a prowler. AKA that means it's a problem. Not too big of a problem. All right. Oh yeah, but God, back back in those days, damn dude. I think I had one on the gingerbread man as well. That was also a fun time. <laughs> you you heard the story so many times. Like this book is so cool. It's so, it's like the book he's talking to me. Oh, it's so good. Anyway. <laughs> 
That's about to get serious. <laughs> Fight evil! <laughs> Here we go. First ever combat section. Um, a little bit of a note, actually, in the previous builds. Um, they obviously hadn't had the combat in the game yet. So, when the combat wasn't in, you just came out of that box and the Prowler was just dead on the floor for some random reason. So, I can't tell if they had the plan to put this in later or that was actually going to be the canonical reason. I have no idea. But this makes more sense. Anyway, yeah. Um, just talking about the combat here. I'm sure you guys can read it. I think it's actually a version past this where they've changed the text for actual, like, on-screen animation and footage. I remember watching Budstream last night, and he actually had the, the he had the instruments, oh sorry, the instruments, the instructions displayed to him in, um, like a, a visual fashion, but this is just text, so I might just be playing an outdated version. Probably need to, probably need to work on that. Anyway, yeah, blocking, punching, drains your power meter, aim is often swap fighting styles, mid-combat, observe the icon above this prowler. I took a little bit too long on this one, initially. Which I can't completely say is the game's fault, um, but the only thing about this tutorial is you had to be very specific with it. The game wants you to do something in a specific way. If you don't do it, the game will not advance. So you just gotta do this. Boink, boink, boink. And it should be it. Cool, yeah. Charging fighters will barrel towards you in a fit of rage. Back off and wait for the charge, then punch them before they strike. Charges are unblockable, land free sexual attacks to proceed. Okay, so this one's also pretty simple. Just gotta wait. Boink, bonk, bump. There you go. Ow. I don't think that counts as damage in the uh, the final phase. I mean, if it does, then that's gonna be a very cheap way to deal damage. Okay, range fighters take you from fire. Yada 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 yada. I uh, should be able to block this one, I think. Yep. Under attack. Boom, boom, boom. And bait fighters, when you just swing at them for a counterattack, time to block or punch them before they land a hit on you. Keep an eye out for the vulnerability icon, land through sexual time, do for sight! All the usual stuff. I think after this, there's actually a, a decent pause until um, you get another combat section. Which actually ended up biting me in the ass a bit when I got to the part where I had to fight again. Because I forgot that the block bomb was a thing. <laughs> And that actually cost me from being able to beat a certain boss. Until I realized that. So, yeah, that's embarrassing. But we'll see how that goes when we get there. Okay, and don't want to spoil everything now, do I? The clock. You do the chop. And boom, bam, boom. Cool, okay, so you can get out of the way, but blocking does help as well. Uh, I think he's gonna charge here next. Yeah. The combat is engaging, though. I like it. I again, you feel a lot more in control. I mean, I feel like I'm so much more in control now because the is not making me do it in a very specific manner. But, like, in the actual boss fights, you feel so much more in control of this because now you're just uh, off the leash. It should make plenty of sense. Okay. Bomb, bomb, boom. There you go. Anything I'm... Oh, no, I can't go in that room. Okay. He's just magically floating. I like it. <laughs> hey, come back here, you! Oi! Oi! <laughs> Don't you dare try to avoid me! <laughs> and he did. Cool. Alright! That's that one done. And again, that's why the Prowler's dead, which is when Doodle Ward obviously brings it out of the rock. I, I, I still don't understand how I didn't process that in my godforsaken brain. Also, where the hell did Patrick come from? I don't... <laughs> I didn't see him walk up to the boat bill in that scene. I wasn't paying attention. Because he does so in the others, but yeah, I don't know that one. There's, uh, I think Prince Jellion in that one, which will get into that plot point again later as well. Yeah, I get an A. God damn it. I, I missed the Goofy Goober token last time. I think I actually got the no death bonus in that previous run. Actually, wait, no, I may have not. Because I actually went back to try and get, uh, try and find the Goofy Goober token, but I kept getting killed by those prowlers all on about, so... That might have been it. Anyway, so that's that one done. Uh, next level is going to be Anchor Way. Let's just jump into that and play it as well. This, this one's pretty simple, and pretty quick. It's a time trial for a reason, you can do it in like three minutes. 
So, while Squidward brings SpongeBob and Patrick to their neighborhood to gather their belongings, Mr. Krabs is doing the same. He arrives to his home in search of his booty and to ensure that his daughter is safe at home. Uh, but upon approaching the front door, he realizes that it's, the jar it's a jar. Someone could steal his money at any moment, or worse. So I've actually got the ace perfection in this one. So I don't have to worry about doing it, um... I don't have to worry about acing it this time. I could just play the level normally, which uh, might be a better idea in the case of the video length, just so I don't get too long. Just so the video don't get too long, I can play it like Scrub and not, <laughs> and not acknowledge the Easter eggs in, like... Nah, 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 nah. There is actually one Easter egg I need to grab. I haven't grabbed it yet. Oh, please let me door to be safe and sound. It's an extra extra, so the, the super secret ones. Which I'm surprised I never caught on um, the last time, but then again, I was barely in Pearl's room for any amount of time. You don't have much to do in there besides check out some of the other Easter eggs and uh, grab the first bit of money you can. Alright, before I even touch me money, let me check on me daughter first. Hello. Bye. Oh god, it's a <laughs> bit of a glitchy grandfather clock. Okay, let's just read this. During your escapades, you'll come across foes who are sound asleep. It's best to avoid interrupting their uh, sheep counting uh, activities by evading environmental hazards that could cause a ruckus. If they are stirred from their slumber, may Neptune have mercy on your soul. So, um, in case no one can pick up, this is foreshadowing. <laughs> or if I get Neptune, she's safe. Best to get me money. I think I left it somewhere around here. There it is. The first thing, there's a bunch of references to, uh, I think some of it is to the show. That's obviously, uh, Jay from the Cub Scouts. This handsome chappy over here is myself. Back when I had a poncho and everyone believed I wasn't actually that tanned. <laughs> or, or, at least they didn't know I was actually that tanned. I'm, I'm much more tanned than the picture showcases to me. And, uh, the Padre and the guys know that now. For reasons. <laughs> but yeah, that's me. Oh, pretty cool. Uh, I believe that's 8-Bit Ryan specifically, not 8-Bit Gaming. Uh, that's the Game Salmon. You got Next Genius Bird. That's Dom Plays. Uh, I don't watch the guy, unfortunately, but that's apparently like his mascot or something. So, uh... Oh, wait, I forgot the, the Easter egg. Hang on a second, give me a second. It's over in the corner. There it is. It's a ketamine bottle. Because, of course, Mr. Krabs overdosed on ketamine and he's about to die. Oh, Christ. <clears throat> All right, let's get into the the thick of the game now. I think besides that, I've got all the other Easter eggs on this one. So we just got to play the level. Let's obviously the. Oh wait, I've already done that one. Yeah, I've already interacted. Oh what? Oh God, Pearl! I guess I was still in our line of sight. Maybe when Pearl was fully awake and stayed out of our line of sight until she was back asleep. I guess so. So I guess there's like a period of time where she actually. Um. <coughs> God, sorry. Uh, she walks down the stairs and is still in rage. I assume she gets down there and then falls back to sleep. So I've got to be a little bit more wary of that. <coughs> I didn't realize that was a thing. <laughs> I still love that picture of Mr. Krabs. He just... He, <laughs> I don't know what that face is like alluding to, but I just... I love it. Alright. So wait until she falls asleep. There you go. Okay, I've got seven of them already. I've got seven schmickaroos right from the beginning. Good old start. Uh, where's Pearl gone? Is the question. I could probably grab the ones in the the basement last, because again, I have no reason to go down there now for the the goofy goober token, because I already have it. Also, yeah, DX Army. I don't know who the Gengar-looking character is. Also, Phone Egg the Mickey's picture is in the um uh, the bathroom. Can't miss that one. Grab all me money while I can. There's another Easter egg up here. Also the golden spatula. Which I'll grab just because I can. <laughs> it's, the, it's the best of reasons. Just, I can just do it. I'm allowed to, okay? Don't tell me otherwise. I'm allowed to do what I wish. Uh, that's Luigi Kid Gaming, I assume. That's a that's a Flower Gaming, my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a picture of flowers. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know who DG is. No idea about that one. Oh god, hello Pearl. Uh, that's DX. Oh wait, hang on. Wait, was that DK or DX? Oh, that's- oh wait, that's DX. Okay, so I'm assuming that's DX army, and that's DK? Donkey Kong! Uh, that's J. Skibine, and that is, uh, that gamer in disguise, aka Pug, who's also the voice actor of Pearl in this level. 
is a bit of backstory. You got Pigsty, uh, voice actor, very talented individual. You've got Foo Cat. You got a penis with hair. I don't know about that. Oh God, hello. Um, Omar Sabali. Don't know who else is in here, but I've got to avoid that pinky quickly before anything. Otherwise, I'm going to die a horrible and embarrassing death. Click. Oh, hello. Gosh, she is really, really sneaky. Damn. For someone who makes like incredibly loud. Oh, actually, wait. I guess she isn't moving when she um she wakes up. I think she just looks around the house or where she currently is standing when she wakes up. So that would make plenty of sense. Money, 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 money. I stepped on a floorboard because it spawned. Oh, it spawned right under my feet as I walked. God damn it. Okay. Christ. Oh god, this is not the place I want you to be in, Pearl. This is not the place I want you to be in. Uh No, 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 no. <laughs> if I ever needed a visual representation of being between a rock and a hard place, that is the hard play, right? That, that's that's the visual description right there, all right? <laughs> Christ. Okay, she went away, cool. Uh, I'm still missing one stack. Oh, God. Okay, that was close. Uh, I'm missing a stack. I think somewhere in this room. Oh, there. Okay. Grab me one push. Get downstairs. Where the rest of me wampus should be lying. In here. There it is. Hey, Barry. Sorry, I've already got my goop return. I don't need, I don't need you anymore. Alright, and we just gotta leave. Oh, no. <laughs> God. I've seen some of the YouTubers get freaked out, but I, and I'm pretty sure that's the idea, but for me, it's just like, you hear a roar, I'm just like, oh, Christ, Pearl, just turns at the exact angle it needs and just starts firing into the open. Oh. Ah, oh, Christ. <laughs> the tragedy, the sadness, the emotion. This is generally a really sweet scene, though. It really is. Mr. Krabs is like a, a completely different version of himself in this game. Which I kind of like the fresh air on that. Like, it's not just him being the super cheapskate he is, but... At the same time, it just doesn't really feel... Like, he leaves the money behind. Because he's more, like, concerned about his daughter and stuff. It's just, it's weird. Like, it's cute, but it's just not what you expect, you know what I mean? And yeah, we've got a B, but... Who cares? I've already got my, I've already got my ranking, it's okay. At least we got the time trial, am I right? <laughs> Christ. Anyway, uh, that will be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. That was Patrick's Rock and Anchor Way. And now with that, 10 p.m. is done. We now move on to 11 p.m., which consists of Bargain Mar and Tentacle Acres, uh, one of which, or both of which I haven't actually aced. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed. I have been Chaos. You've been the episode one for Lawrence, as you always are. Until this time, remember to do the usual. Uh, like if you enjoyed the video, dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Maybe go follow me on Twitter for updates and stuff, because in case you don't know me by now, Inconsistency is my quality. There's various other links, blah, 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 various other links in the description below, uh, mainly my Twitch. Please do go check that out. I stream a lot of times during the week, usually. But most importantly, of all things, ladies and gentlemen, take care, everybody. Sayonara!